Okay, this video is going to teach you how to calculate your shipping cost if you want to know ahead of time. Like for example, let's say you need your order in three to four days. So the first thing you want to do before you start to calculate the shipping cost is check your en engraving. If you see that, okay, your expedite engraving you selected to know, what that means is going to take three to four business days to ship out on top of the shipping time. So one thing you want to consider if you need your item in a, in a certain time frame, you need to expedite the engraving. And in order to do this, you have to go back to that item that you added to the cart. So let's just say I just added the item. So it's just if I go back, that'll be for my page. Sometimes you have to go back and search for the item name or item code and then re-enter the engraving. So what I'll do is I went back to the item and I decided I need to personalize the product with free engraving. So since I just was on this page previously, it remembered all of my information. Depending on your browser, it may remember, it may not remember. Okay, now I want to select expedite engraving. So like what this means again is that when you place your order, for example, if I place my order on Friday, usually on weekends are not considered business days for us because we're only open Monday to Friday. So if I place my order on Friday, it's not going to be processed on Saturday, Sunday. It's going to be processed on Monday, the next business day. So if you decide to use expedite engraving, which is an additional three ninety five charge, your order will be shipped out either on Monday or Tuesday. So expedite engraving takes one to two business days. And if you do not choose expedite engraving, it will ship out in three to four business days. So you select yes, and you add this to cart. Okay, and the item you have previously that did not have expedite engraving, to delete this item, you just, under the name of the item, select remove. Okay, now you have your item with expedite engraving. Now you can calculate your shipping cost. Before we said we needed this item within three to four days. So I'm giving myself one to two days for being shipped out. Like for example, I placed my order Friday and I needed the latest either Thursday or Friday. So standard shipping, standard shipping is actually free on orders over $50, but it takes seven to 10 days. So this is not gonna work out for us. Either the best option is priority mail. Um, we can even do express mail. UPS ground, that depends on where you're located, how long it's going to take. But if you for sure need a order, your order on a certain date, the options you need to go with is either one of these UPS, three day select, second day air, next day air, which are guaranteed to get, the, get there in those time frames, or FedEx second day air or FedEx overnight. So just kind of going over these, FedEx overnight means it takes one business day. Um, FedEx does not deliver on weekends, they don't deliver on Saturday and Sunday. So if you need your order on those days, FedEx overnight will not work. FedEx second day air, that takes two business days. FedEx Express Saver takes three business days. UPS Worldwide Saver, that actually takes one business day for international. And for international options, we have UPS Worldwide Saver, Priority Mail International, and FedEx International Priority. For, for more information on how long these takes, this will be in the shipping info page. But kind of giving you an idea, if you need your order in this short time frame and you need to be guaranteed to come in time, it's best to select one of these UPS, three day select, the second day air, next day air, one of those options, or even express mail, which takes one to two days with USPS. So just messing around. Let's enter a zip code 1001. Coming back to top, we can see okay, that costs 2035 for express mail. That takes one to two days. I say, we say, we, like I said before, the order will either ship out Monday or Tuesday. And the latest we need is either Thursday or Friday, so actually we could go with three day select. Okay, that's twenty one ninety eight. That's actually more expensive than USPS, and for you, um, so more expensive than Express Mail. So once you choose a UPS option, you actually can see the cost of how much UPS is going to be if you decide to choose the options. Okay, let's see. Let's actually try FedEx Express Saver. Okay, that's thirteen seventy nine, and that's guaranteed by FedEx to take three business days. So let's say we want to go with that option. So once you proceed to checkout, 
people have saved from there what you selected before. And so you just fill out your information, your shipping information, your billing information, if it's different from the shipping info and your payment method. And then you enter your email address and any comments, any additional comments you have, how you want your engraving to be entered, or even if you want to add a note for somebody, say, hey, thank you, this is your gift. This is where you can enter that information. Then you click continue, and before the order goes through, there'll be a review page. Um, on that review page, there'll be a button at the very bottom that says send order. Once you send order, your order will be submitted, and it'll give you a, a order number that'll be on the page that you can write down. So that's how you calculate your shipping costs before you proceed to check out. You can even mess around with the shipping costs, selecting it here and hitting apply to see the difference. That doesn't this option doesn't work. Let's choose FedEx overnight. And you can even mess around here to see what the cost is, but sometimes I, I like to mess around with it beforehand before proceeding to check out just in case I want to add another item to the cart. So that's how you calculate your shipping costs.